Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So still in chapter 2, Alkane, and we have learned 2.1 until 2.3. So now we're going to focus on 2.4, physical properties of alkane. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to compare the boiling points of alkanes based on molecular weight and isomeric alkanes, straight versus branch alkane. All right, and also explain the solubility of alkanes in water and non-polar solvent. So let's start with boiling points. So boiling points is directly proportional to the strength of intermolecular forces, IMF. So the stronger the IMF, more energy required to break the IMF. Jadi lagi banyak energy required, that's why boiling point juga akan semakin tinggi. Okay, remember these three points. Now, kalau kita cek balik, alkanes only contains C, C single bond dan CH single bonds, which is non-polar bonds, okay? So, disebabkan dia hanya contain non-polar bonds, maka alkanes sebenarnya adalah non-polar molecule, okay? Disebabkan dia adalah non-polar molecule, maka dia punya intermolecular forces adalah Van der Waals forces yang lemah, ataupun kita boleh panggil sebagai London dispersion forces, okay? So let's have a look at the factors that are affecting the strength of IMF intermolecular forces. Yang pertama adalah size ataupun weight, molecular weight. Dan yang kedua adalah surface area of contact, surface area. So ini juga dipanggil sebagai shape dia lah. So shape ni terbagi pada tiga jenis, linear, branched ataupun cyclic. Tapi untuk visible speedity kita akan fokus kepada linear dan branch lah. So first factor adalah size ataupun weight. Kalau kita tengok sini, kita ada 5 compound di sini daripada CH4, C2H6, C3H8 dan juga C4H10 dan juga C5H12. So dari atas ke bawah, okay, the number of carbon ataupun the size okay, of the compound is increasing. So as the size increases, okay, the strength of intermolecular forces okay, which is Van der Waals, VDW saya tulis ini pun semakin kuat. Okay, so bila strength of Van der Waals semakin kuat, maka more energy required to overcome the Van der Waals forces in the molecule. So that's why the boiling point also increase kalau kita perhatikan daripada negative something kepada positif. Uh, okay, so bigger size, higher boiling point. Next factor is surface area. Okay, kalau kita tengok sini, ada contoh ni, ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbons di sini. So, saya lukis dia punya structure, skeletal. And yang kedua ni, dia punya chain, okay, 5, and then ada branch di tengah. Okay, pun ada 6 carbon ya. And then yang last sekali ada 2 branched. Okay, so, semua ni sama size. Semua ada 6 carbon, okay. Ada 6 carbon. Jadi, molecular size dia ataupun molecular weight dia sama. So, apa yang membezakan mereka adalah dia punya surface area. Sebab, semakin ke bawah tu semakin banyak branch. Dan kalau kita perasan, dia punya boiling point pun semakin kerendah. Kenapa? As the number of branches increase, okay, branches ni sebenarnya akan menyebabkan surface area jadi kecil. Sebab, dia akan membuatkan molecules become compact. So, the surface area of contact will decrease, reduced. Jadi, less energy required to overcome the Van der Waals forces. Jadi, disebabkan less energy required, maka boiling point juga berkurang. Ingat, ini cuma applicable kalau size dia ataupun weight dia sama. Baru tengok dia punya surface area. Mari kita bincang lebih lanjut sikit ni. Kalau ada cyclic macam mana? Kalau kita nampak sini kan daripada table ni, dia adalah comparison antara cyclic dan juga linear. Okay, cyclic punya boiling point sebenarnya lebih tinggi daripada linear. Provided dia punya size sama. Kalau bandingkan cyclobutane dengan buten, kan lagi besar tu boiling point dia. Cyclopentane dengan pentane kalau kita bandingkan lebih besar cyclopentane. Jadi, kesimpulannya cyclic lebih besar daripada linear. Sebab apa? Cyclic alkane ataupun cycloalkane has larger surface area compared to alkane yang linear. Ha, provided size dia sama lah. Jadi, bila larger surface area, back to the point, bila size surface area lagi besar, maka Van der Waals forces dia pun semakin kuat. So, more energy required to overcome the Van der Waals forces. That's why the boiling point juga lebih tinggi. Okay, quick recap. So, apa-apapun kalau mau tengok boiling point, masih tengok size dulu. Size tinggi, boiling points pun tinggi sebab Van der Waals dia lebih kuat kan more energy required lepas tu kalau sama dia punya size baru tim kita punya second factor which is surface area di mana cyclic lebih besar daripada linear dan lebih besar daripada branch branch paling kecil surface area dia
Oke, okay, the next uh, physical properties yang kita mau tengok adalah solubility, keterlarutan. So kita akan check in two deep, different type of solvent. The first one is in water, and the second one is in non-polar organic solvent. So basically, alkanes are insoluble, generally insoluble in water, because syarat mau larut dalam air adalah must be able to form hydrogen bond with water. But, okay. Alkane, dia tidak boleh form hydrogen bond with water. So that's why they are not soluble in water. Dia tidak ada boleh buat handphone itu. Ha, tidak boleh. Okay. Tapi kalau dalam non-polar organic solvent, alkanes are soluble. Because kalau mau larut dalam non-polar organic solvent, dia punya syarat mesti boleh form Van der Waals forces sesama sendiri sesama dia orang jadi alkanes are soluble in organic solvent because they can form Van der Waals forces with organic solvent so that's why they are soluble in organic solvent okay but insoluble in water and for your information these are some of the good solvents for alkanes yaitu benzene CCL4 carbon tetrachloride and dichloromethane CH2Cl2 These are some of the good solvent for alkanes. Test yourself with this question. Explain why 2,2-dimethylbutane has lower boiling point than hexane. Check on the factors, okay? Okay guys, as usual, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and also share this video if you like it. Thank you. Bye-bye.